from Thunder Valley Resort in Lincoln, California. This is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen, and this guy is the pride of Southern Ohio. He's Joe Stapleton, and Stapes, wrapping up day three here at Thunder Valley. You know, I usually refer to NorCal as SnorCal, but this group of dudes has actually been pretty fun. I'll be sad to see them go. Is that because uh, Phil's rich friends have been buying you drinks all night? Nope. <gasps> Yes. As we get started again with day number three, new players sitting down in seat four, Doug Lordry is joining the fray. Tell them Lorge Morge sent you. If anybody wants to know where we'll be performing next, it'll be at Commerce on Friday. <laughs> on the tour? Come on down. I will be there. <laughs> ODB rents himself a house in California on the chance. <laughs> that we show up. I'm gonna move okay. to Chicago if y'all don't. Start with Poker me. Night in America <laughs> is brought to you by Kimo Sabi. Yeah. Poker Night in America at Thunder Valley, just outside of Sacramento, California. I felt like we were gonna get along today, but I don't feel like that anymore. I mean, it, it could have been 900, you know? That's one way to take it. I, mean, I, I, I might have folded for 900. I'll take it to commission you. I don't really plan that for an event. Rot row. Yeah, after the World Series, if I'm not broke after the World Series, I'll come to In case I, I go broke real soon, I just want to tell you it's an honor to be playing with me. The only bad news is, for the draw of Kroon, Transport has two of his outs. That's right, JC is blocking a large portion of his outs. Just so I got something to write a blog about in case I get lucky here. Poker Harlow. 750, right the bet from Tran, right call from Kroon. He's the same as Ginger Mark. Him yeah, and Mark look the same, thing. Mark Bunch. That's cool, bro. Block my aces. I still got four nines. Wow. Thank you. Say hello to the cameras. Oh, she, she had a pose and everything. Oh, excuse me, I wanted a drink, but I also uh, have a straight. You got the coffee? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I actually kind of like a lead here. JC's only going to fold his worst hands, and it's really easy for him to have a small piece of this. Don't believe everything you see on TV. I've never played with you before. That's why I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm really good. I think it looks like a younger, skinnier Bill really Parcells. Good, he says. I call. So JC uh -oh. ships at Croon calls oh, with the on, nuts. Yeah, the TV. For the cameras. Ooh. I've never played with you before, and now I'm wishing I didn't play with you now. <laughs> As Mark Kroon is going to scoop up a 10K pot. Welcome to the game. <laughs> Shouldn't you have like a, a cane for the hoe train or anything? A little cane, a oh, top hat? Hoe train! A little top hat? I never said I was going to get it in good either, or play Please. good. How do you do it? Well, that's good. One seat Ooh, open. Nice camera move. I like it. Nice work, Janusz Kaminski. Come on. We slide from one side of the table to the other. Bart Hansen will start this hand. Doug Lordery is straddling. So DB gets a lot of playable hands. Yeah. It must be nice. I know that. It must be nice. Baker and Ross both in so far. Looks like Mark Kroon's getting a little antsy in the pantsy now that he's doubled up. What are you doing? I don't know. It ain't easy, man. Pimpin' ain't easy. Makes it 975 with 10 7. Have you seen how many times this guy gets aces? I've heard about it. <laughs> I've heard about it. Why Jeff still lurking and I'm playing so many hands? Now he's re raising me and I can't do anything. <laughs> oh, this is. This, this, uh, I want to throw up right now. <laughs> I'm starting to like my hand better. Do I have to give you this $300? <laughs> no, you don't have to. You can give me 975. All right. And then fold afterwards. I'm, I'm, pro I'm probably gonna. It's probably gonna. I'm probably gonna fold. Uh, I'm probably well. gonna fold right after the flop. Unless something bad happens to you. How come something bad can't happen to you? It could. Ross still ahead. It actually, looks like a flop that you probably just murdered. I hit that flop big. This is such a weird flop for King Ten because you can't fold and you also don't really like it. Wow. It makes you feel any better. I'm actually scared. His name should be Mark Crooner because he is singing for a supper right now. I feel it. You should. It's supposed to be easier in position. I want to beat you so bad. I just want to like throw the 1025 in there and see what happens on the turn, you know? That's probably not the proper way to do things.
Oh, he's back. What's up, boys? I like that music. Let me see how I'm here. You want your seat back? What's up, my man? You want your seat back? No. He sits down. He sits down the first time he plays. Calls my three bet with the King 10. Yeah, I got two aces. Comes Queen Jack. I'm getting schooled here, Phil. And I'm drawing dead on the turn. I check. First hand, double up. Right nice away. little float from Mark Kroon. And I assume since it just went check, check, he is going to make a big move on the river. Ten high is barely just not playing the board. What are we listening to? <laughs> and Ross folds the best Ooh. hand. Got to give Kroon credit for this one. Floats the loft, takes it away on the river. Oh. That's how they do in Madtown. 7-10, that's not even a drop. Kitty game's right? down the hall, ain't it? Uh, <laughs> hold your hole. I can't believe I walked up for that one. Boy, Mark Kroon is my third favorite hoe. I am almost afraid to ask, but who are the other two? Maria, Thundercats. Poker Night in America, we'll be right back from Thunder, 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 Thunder Valley Ho! Yeah. Should practice that one, maybe. Sorry. <laughs> Get ready to win by downloading Insta Poker Coach, the number one Texas Hold'em training app from the App Store or Google Play, and learn from the pros. Poker Night in America, along with Joe Stapleton. I'm Chris I, Hansen. I don't even catch the sarcasm when you say it. No, there's no sarcasm. I'm dizzy. And Doug wakes up with a couple of ladies. Hey, oop. I have a feeling me and JC aren't going to become best friends. Oh, and Ross has a very costly second best hand. And is that Jax also for Mark Kroon? Kroon going to try to push somebody out here? No, he just calls. Oh, we got action. Yeah. JC Tran's got a pocket pair also. Holy cow. Action back around to Lorgery. Ross reopened the action with a three bet, and this is a large four bet from Lorgery. Wonder what kinds of hands he's hoping to get action with. Maybe none. Maybe he just wants to take this down pre flop. This is just a massive four bet. I just don't know that you have to get involved for this much. Discipline fold from Ross. And Kroon may just be wondering why so serious. If you want action here, why would you four bet so much? I call. If you slow played aces or kings, you got. I had jacks. <laughs> Look at uh -oh. Kroon's face. That is awesome. Yeah, I had, jack I had two jacks. Oh, crap. I could have done without that information. I had two jacks. That's not good news. Don't tell him that. I had two jacks as him. He's got jacks. Do it slow for me, dealer. I did, two jacks. Nothing cute, dude. Flop them dead. Cute. That's the way to I do skip it. Skip if you find a way to lose this hand. <laughs> yeah. What's the All right, we'll be counting, <laughs> we'll be counting <laughs> the deck if I find a way to lose this one. Wow. No, I count. think the dealer deserves a big fat tip. I believe you. Way to ruin the sweat for Kern. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not heartbroken over this little spot, I'll be honest. David Baker is done taking his break from winning everyone's money. Good to see him back. Oh, heavy, I almost got cute on the flop. David Baker, break taker. It, it would not have worked. Yeah, something tells me that. It's hard to beat the devil's hand. He probably went somewhere and took somebody else's money. I, I, I bet you that's what he was on. <laughs> hey, I'm really, really hot today. You want to make a bet against me? Ha, you just lost. He just flipped against the bathroom attendant. Won a fistful of quarters. Chance to play with my friend. Baker's got jacks. Oh boy, and that's how jacks roll right there. Tran flops two pair. Are we finally gonna see the end of the David Baker hot streak? He's been running hotter than George Hamilton's tanning bed. Just need a couple more chips to go in the middle. He needs a jack, a king, or a deuce on the river. Otherwise, we might actually see him lose a pot. Ah, uh, not so fast. Ah, uh, nope, just kidding. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
He continues running hotter than the sun when it has a fever. It just always happens to coincide on the same day when the sun has a big test. Convenient, son, convenient. David has raised the riverbed of JC Trend. JC's definitely good enough to fold this. Against four There are lots of hands that could be beating him, including sets, flushes, better to pair. King Jack and Hearts are probably the most likely. I'm trying to pump up the website. At least one in 500, I would say. It's got to be hard to give Dave Baker credit for always having it. There's got to be people who know. I don't know. Trend calls. Wow. David Baker is running hotter than Megan Fox in a Margot Robbie costume. And one for the ladies. He's running hotter than Michael Phelps doing crunches while watching Say Yes to the Dress. See? Even it out for you. O D B. Nice. Oh, lucky, lucky. I know that we have to take a short break, but before we go, can we get a slow mo replay of Mark Kroon's reaction to when Mike Ross tells him he already folded the other two jacks? Oh, so painful. So you're saying there's no chance? Not as painful as the fact that we must leave you for a moment, but we'll be back, I promise. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimo Sabi. Welcome back to Poker Night in America from Sacramento, California. We're at Thunder Valley. <laughs> Chris, I'm jonesing for some mezcal. Do you know where I can find some? Funny you bring that up. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimosab. Look at that, it cures my shakes almost instantly. Three hundred the bet from Lordry. You're playing like six, seven could it begin? Yeah, something like that. JC Tran also calls. His hand's pretty under repped, but this is a post flop game. Oh, man. Everyone catches a piece of this flop, but Lordry is no forgery. He's the real deal. Lanuts. And he's betting, betting that somebody else also caught a big piece of that flop. Yeah, two of them. We got so the bet was 700, he's now got two calls. Plenty of action. Poker ho. We're still gonna be buddies, right? Oh yeah. yeah. I, More I, now than ever. I, I, w I can see the day where I get my Christmas cards from you and I put it up on my refrigerator and then every day when I go grab a glass of milk, I'm, I'm seeing your face and it's, it's gonna be like one of these things, Mikey. I'd love you that one time. It's gonna be great. I got big plans for you. This is great. I think we're gonna be buddies for life. <laughs> I, I, I honestly say that, I actually think I mean Well, why wouldn't we, of yeah, course. Yeah, I think, I think we're gonna be friends. So the flop flush draw flop. came in. I wonder how confident Doug is in his straight. I think you have to value bet this. You know what, actually, it's hard, it's hard to call that, that if you value bet and you get jammed on, the bet on the you game hate it. Choice, the I, I'm, a, I'm a nit. I think I'm just going to check behind here. I don't know what the actual winning play is. And I also like trailing off my sentences. I try to tell you, I'm really good. No one yes, believes very me. strong. I thought the nuts. Check behind. Play it safe, that's what I say. Nice answer. Except for the nice. times when I say gamble. It's really pretty arbitrary. Almost 6,000 going to Lordry. Well, we had an empty seat in seed one, and oh, who better to fill that than Maria Ho? Welcome back to the game. Are you rolling with the homies? I am a homie. What's your favorite place you've ever been? Your mom's house, next question. Uh, Queenstown, New Zealand. It's the most amazing place ever. Or New Zealand, Why? whatever. The most beautiful place I've ever seen in Don't real they life. Have the world's biggest rat in New Zealand. 
<laughs> what? I, that wasn't on my list of must-see uh, destinations. Uh, they got the world's largest rodent. Yeah. Meanwhile, in America, we just have the world's largest humans. But that seems interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that is on my list of places to go. It's amazing. New Zealand. Well, next year, let's do Aussie Millions New Zealand. Yes. Lord of the WSOP the rings. Tucker doesn't even know I'm talking about him. That's my new nickname. <laughs> you know I'm skipping out Mike, right? With this race, whatever this garbage <laughs> race you have here. Okay, I just want to make sure you know. I actually okay. haven't shown down that much garbage. Exactly. Yeah. That's except for I'm eight, about the garbage except for eight, nine of clubs. <laughs> you are disappointing me. God. Massively. What about Cord? He's 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 just depressing. <laughs> he might even be 21 yet. Can you check my Cord? Yeah. Ray, you're drinking way too slow. Nobody uh, If I wasn't flying out at four in the morning, well, I'd be your boy. I was pretty sick when I woke up today, but I will have one drink with you. Well, Hanson does pick up a draw on the turn. <laughs> Eight or nine for the win, a king for the chop for Hanson. Skippy to the rescue. There's no chance of Has Bart picked yet another ill time bluff spot? What is with all of the peer pressure? I thought I escaped that after high school. It is looking like it. She's all excited up in the room, thinking about 11 o'clock. Even two barrels is probably not going to get this bluff done for Hanson. I'll only do it if Ben... 3K is the bet. I don't see how oh, Lorgery can oh, fold. He's got top pair and a gut shot to the nut straight. Oh, Mark! Hours. I got to fly at 4 o'clock in the morning. That's the dumbest excuse I've ever heard. I've literally I'm drank a, and then didn't sleep and then made my flight at 4 or 5 in the morning. So that does not fly. I could be the pilot. It's not exactly the best spot for a raise, but he is allowed. I, I could be. <laughs> Maybe that's what he's thinking about. Obviously I hate not to break it to you guys, but if you guys watch that movie with Denzel Washington, a lot of pilots do stuff. I, I, <laughs> I fell asleep. Fly. What happened at the end? <laughs> There's only one realistic Denzel Washington movie, break and that's you. Virtuosity. <laughs> that's why you, I just fly private. Must be nice. I'm obviously kidding. I know. Because A, that would be really douchey if I was serious, and B, that sounds like I wouldn't tell anybody that. if that Although was there was a Mark Cuban story the other day that was being told. I didn't tell that story, though. <laughs> the name dropper told that story, and he... I have a lot of discretion in general with... <laughs> I don't like to name drop anybody. It's probably a smart move. But Phil, on the other hand. Hey, well, we got Troy Aikman out of him today. He was <laughs> golfing with Troy Aikman. It should be noted that the Troy Aikman that Phil golfs with actually spells his last name E-I-C-H-M-A-N-N. -N. Like, I wish I took some of your lessons before so I could see if this Phil. is like a move or you know, whatever pattern this is. So here, take it, man. That's it. He is uh, amazing that way, though. Cause, like, wow, the Bart, movie. well done, buddy. Look at that. It works sometimes. You finally found someone nitty enough what to fold to one of your bluffs. Yeah, yeah. Does. <laughs> Winning <laughs> while bluffing feels so good. My we, we assume. But yeah, I'd actually have to win to oh, be an accurate description. I don't have the nicest handwriting. Might be part of it. But... Are you guys really good friends? Yeah. Are you from Chicago, too, then? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're as close as Phil and those other two yesterday, but we're... <laughs> I summon them to the West Coast whenever I get bored or I... something's going on. Or... <laughs> true, true story. <laughs> Ross calls. Kroon says, take that up to 11.25 with King Queen. What are you playing, home? And the straddle. The straddle's coming from Super Bears fan, Doug Largery. He had four heart attacks last week. This has happened multiple times here. Yeah. 2,500 is nice. the bet. 25. Well, I'd like to fold, but... Oh, and we are racing. This is a classic race, like the Bears versus the Packers. One of these two hands has a slight mathematical advantage. Oh, my gosh. You're you're going to try to beat your own hand? Yeah, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> the Bears. Jax, pull further ahead. I was going to say, give me the nine before you give him the Jack. 
Oh! I guess I didn't want the 90 for the day. Oh! That's got to hurt like getting burned by a flaming hat nacho. And Croon is felted. He wins the pot. <laughs> I'll take that. I'm going to call it a day, guys. Thank Mark you. Croon headed to his room. All right, kiddies, we got to take a break, but when we get back, we'll let you know how everything's shaking out here in Thunder Valley. I'll tell you two truths. I don't have Jack Nine and Kings are no good. But it is getting close to lunch, so let's get going. As you can see, I don't like to skip many meals. I do not want to ever play blackjack again in my life. Yeah, me either. This game is so dumb. When you play blackjack, you're playing you against Satan. You, you know who song. Satan is? Huh? Yeah. That's who you're playing against when you play blackjack. Satan. Get ready to win by downloading Insta Poker Coach, the number one Texas Hold'em training app from the App Store or Google Play, and learn from the pros. It is time to say goodbye, but not before we take a look at the final tally from here at Thunder Valley. Winner, loser. Here's the end of the night chip count, David Baker. My oh my. David Baker, the big winner, of course he was. He ran hotter than a habanero pepper, slowly being swallowed by a circa 1996 Anna Nicole Smith. And the other side of that, Mark Bonsack. He lost many camouflage shirts today. That guy is going to be visible for miles. Well, thank you, Thunder Valley. It was a pretty sweet bunch of shows. Bad beats, billionaires, even a beautiful couple of hoes. Next stop, Florida and the Seminole Hard Rock. Mmm, sweaty backs and 4.30 dinners. Can't wait. <laughs> For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. For up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. For all of us here at Poker Night in America, thanks for watching. Thunder, thunder, thunder valley ho! Oh, it's a long ho. Ho. Oh, yeah, like that. Okay. Thundercats. This is deep. Poker Night in America will be right back from thunder, 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 thunder valley ho! Yes, you got it. Poker Night is brought to you by Kimo Sabi.